Hey everybody, this is Mungo Dark Manor, and today I'm going to show you how to use a free plugin called Stokus, which is a probabilistic polyrhythmic sequencer. And so basically it's a, a sequencer, but you can change the probability that certain notes are going to play and when they will play and such. So this is what the uh, plugin looks out like here to start off with. And uh, if you look at the top here, it has layers. And so we're, we're on pattern one, layer one, and you can see the MIDI output is channel one. If we go to layer two, the MIDI output is channel two. And I set it to that. Now there's a channel three and a channel four or a layer three and a layer four. I, those are still set to channel one because they're all set to channel one by default. Uh, by setting different channels, you can send them to different VST instruments uh, or different synthesizers. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do that on, on layer one and layer two, but we're gonna start out on layer one. Uh, the setup to this is maybe a little bit different in each DAW that you use. I'm gonna, tell you how to set it up basically uh, but if you're interested in a particular DAW how to set it up in a particular DAW let me know which DAW or DAWs you're interested in seeing uh, because if enough people are interested I may uh, go back and go to a particular DAW and show how to kind of set it up from the beginning but basically uh, since it's a sequencer you set it up pretty much like any other sequencer if you've done that before uh, in a DAW. So it's a, like a separate instrument, but it's going to take, it's going to output MIDI notes and you've got to uh, use a MIDI channel or a MIDI port to send it to your other instruments that actually play. So this first track, we have this uh, D7 uh, synthesizer um, VST, which is based on an old Yamaha uh, synthesizer and I have this set to MIDI channel one and this uh, second one right here which is a is a Jup Jupiter 8 uh, which is based on a um, old Roland th synthesizer it's set to MIDI channel 2 uh, so anything that goes to MIDI channel 1 in Stokus will go to the DX7 and anything that goes to to channel two is going to go to the, the Jupiter eight, and so we can have different voices, in other words, for the different layers. And so we're going to start on layer one, like I said. Uh, the first thing we want to do is click to standard. I'm going to select C major as the scale. You can set select any scale that you want, um, uh, and any. Uh, type of scale and uh, so we're going to start on that and uh, I'm actually going to start on poly right here poly will play multiple notes for each step of the sequence we're going to go to chords here and I'm going to select a chord you can select any type of chord or you could create your own chords just by clicking one at a time uh, but I'm going to take a major chord here And I'm going to put these chords down. So it so kind of speeds things up if you want a particular chord because it will already uh, set the bat pattern for you. Actually, we want these over here. Just right click on them to get rid of any note or whatever. So let's go back to the layer options. So we're on poly right here. And if I play this now, it's gonna play all of these notes as chords. And we can see this easily or more easily by opening up this keyboard. If you watch the keyboard down here as it plays. So you could see that it played um, all of those uh, all of those uh, as chords. Now if we go 
go back to Stokus and switch this to mono, watch what happens with the keyboard. It's only playing one key at a time, and it's randomly taking any one of the three that are up there. Now we can change the probability of this. Right now these are on uh, are on high, but if we click on it and drag down, it will change it. So we could change that to medium and this to low. And uh, if we go over to poly, You can see high is, is set as, as on, so that will always be on. And so, but there, these will ch there's a percentage chance that these will change. So we can change the percentage chance of what things will play or what keys will play on the poly. Let's actually go back to mono to make it a little bit faster. Let's make that low, make that medium and you can play with this as you listen to it and adjust the probabilities uh, depending on the way you want it to sound and so if we go over to poly once again so these are staying on up here we change the probability on those if, if we didn't want them to stay on for example all of the time and so now if we go back to the keyboard and if we go to play this in so today it's playing chords or multiple notes but it's changing which ones that it's doing and it's doing that randomly so if we go back here again we can also do this on mono to see what happens So we'll pick different notes randomly depending and depending on the probabilities you set or the percentages that you set. So that's pretty cool. Um, but what else we, we can do is we can also go over here and we can we can do a second layer and let's set this uh, this should be set to oh. No, that's right. Uh, we can go over. I don't know what that. Um, we can go not to say that's a second pattern. We want to go up here to layer. These are different patterns on the same layer, and so it actually gives you an outline of what the other layer looks like, so you so you know what notes are playing. So it makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna go back to chords and pick major chord, and I'm gonna set them. Uh, Set it down to, uh, let's set it way down here. Like that. And uh, we can go back to layer two options. I'm going to have this uh, play in mono too, so it's going to just pick these particular notes. I'm going to leave them as high probability right now, but we, we could adjust those as well. And if we play this now, Just that. So you can see if we mute, this is the second synthesizer right here. And we unmute that, and this is the first synthesizer. So we have two different voices going on. And so we're able to create multiple layers um, and then we can 
have different pattern selects and different patterns on each of those layers. And we can use different, actually different scales on the different layers if we wanted to. Um, so that's basically how uh, Stokus works. That gives you at least a good starting point to start from. You can mess with a lot of these other variables there. There's another thing you can mess with, which is chains. And chains are if you link different things in the chains if it's like an if this then that so if this note is is fired then this note will be fired on on the next one so if we put it on mono and uh we did that and uh we can create a rule And uh, let's let's meet. What are we on? We're on the f we're on layer one, so let's mute layer two and just play this the way it is. So by using the chains here, what you can do is you can set the probability of a particular pattern playing. So like for instance, if we had this as at low, we could make it run through a particular pattern by by linking a chain all the way across here. So we could uh, we could take this chain and put it up to here. Get rid of that. We can link this chain and put it up to here and have it go all the way across. So every time this note was chosen, all of these notes would be chosen. So we'll play this pattern. Um, and in fact, what you could do is if, if you had uh, three different patterns here, um, or three different notes here, you could set a pattern for each one. So if it picked whatever note it picked in the beginning of the sequence, you could have it play a series of notes through part of the sequence or through all of the sequence. So there's a lot more complex things you could do using the uh, chains in this. So that is Stokus and kind of a basically how to use it. It's a free VST and you can get it at stokus.org. I'm Mungo Dark Matter and I will see you next time and have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.